This is emo, and it can do this. Now how crazy is that? Emo can animate a single portrait photo and generate videos of the person talking or singing. It's almost as if the photo has come to life. But just when we thought that's all there was to Emo AI, there's more. This model can do even more amazing things and we're about to explore them all. What can Emo do? You see, recent advancements in image generation, especially through diffusion models, have revolutionized the realm of realism in AI. Notably, AI models like Dolly 3 have embraced the power of diffusion models, taking strides in enhancing image quality. A key area of focus lies in human-centric videos, particularly in replicating facial expressions accurately from audio inputs. This is where Emo AI comes in. Emo is the abbreviation for Emote Portrait Alive. Traditional models often rely on complex 3D models or facial landmarks to animate photos and generate videos. Deepfake video generation stands out as a prime example of AI-powered video generation using 3D models. It works by blending the facial features of one person onto another's face, creating videos that seem genuine. However, while it can be impressive at times, it struggles with complex 3D models and detailed facial expressions. When it comes to animating images with intricate 3D designs, deepfakes limitations become apparent. It finds it difficult to capture the subtle details of facial movements, resulting in animations that look unnatural. This includes things like slight changes in expression, wrinkles, or intricate facial contours, which may not translate well into the final video. This difference between the original image and the generated video often leads to unsettling or distorted results, diminishing the desired realism of the deep fake. Moreover, aligning the 3D model with the target face can be a tedious process prone to mistakes, worsening the fidelity issues. Even with the ongoing advancements in AI video generation, seamlessly animating images with complex 3D models remains a significant challenge for researchers and developers in the field. But Emo AI takes a different approach. It directly synthesizes videos from audio cues, ensuring smooth transitions between frames and maintaining a person's identity throughout. This results in animations that are not only expressive, but also remarkably realistic. One of the most impressive aspects of Emo AI is its ability to capture a wide range of facial expressions. This beat is cray cray ray J H A H A H A laugh it all the way to the bank I spray flames that can By analyzing audio cues, it can generate dynamic facial movements that accurately reflect the emotions conveyed in the audio. From subtle smiles to intense frowns, Emo AI can recreate the full spectrum of human emotions with remarkable accuracy. This innovative approach addresses limitations seen in conventional techniques, which often struggle to capture the full range of human expressions and the unique complexities of individual facial styles. The traditional methods, while effective in some respects, also fall short of capturing the depth and nature of human emotions. One thing that sets Emo AI apart is its versatility. Whether it is a heartfelt conversation or a melodious song like the one I showed you earlier, Emo AI can deliver. It's capable of generating convincing videos in various styles, ensuring that each animation feels unique and authentic. Another thing, it can work with different portraits, be it that of a real human, an animated picture, or whatever. It's also made it possible for users to choose voices from the wide array of voices available for usage in the software. But how does Emo do this? Well, Emo uses sophisticated diffusion models to create lifelike character head videos. These videos are designed to pick up on subtle facial expressions and mimic natural head movements for a realistic effect. We were good, we were good. The dream In the context of Emo generating character head videos, diffusion works by spreading information about micro expressions and natural head movements throughout the model. Just like the scent from the candle spreads out, the model learns to capture and replicate these subtle facial expressions and movements. The process is like teaching the model to understand and reproduce the way real people move and express themselves. By letting the information diffuse throughout the model, it becomes better at generating realistic and lifelike videos of character heads. 
capturing all those tiny details that make human expressions so nuanced and natural. To teach Emo how to do this, scientists gathered a huge collection of audio and video material. They amassed over 250 hours of footage and a staggering 150 million images. This diverse dataset includes all sorts of content, like speeches, movie scenes, TV clips, and even singing performances in different languages. By exposing Emo to such a vast array of human expressions and vocal tones, researchers ensured it could understand and replicate a broad spectrum of emotions and styles. Emo's framework operates in two key stages, frame encoding and diffusion. I just explained how the diffusion process works, now let's delve into the frame encoding stage. Here, ReferenceNet plays a vital role in extracting features from both the reference image and motion frames. Various attention mechanisms, such as reference attention and audio attention, help maintain identity and modulate movements. Additionally, temporal modules fine-tune motion velocity, ensuring a smooth and expressive video generation process. To uphold consistency with the input reference image, Emo refines the reference net approach by introducing a frame encoding module. This module plays a critical role in preserving the character's identity throughout the video generation journey, thereby enhancing the realism of the final output. Integrating audio into diffusion models poses challenges, particularly in mapping audio to facial expressions due to inherent ambiguity. And a fiend. And one night, he goes off crazier than usual. To tackle this, Emo incorporates stable control mechanisms, including a speed controller and a face region controller. These mechanisms enhance stability during video generation, maintaining diversity without compromising on stability. Such stability is essential to prevent facial distortions or jittering between frames, ensuring a more natural and lifelike output. Emo vs. Pika's Lip Sync AI Video Generator you probably haven't heard that Pika recently released a lip-sync AI video generator. This is all in the effort to compete against Sora. This feature allows paid subscribers to the Eleven Labs app to infuse AI-generated voices and dialogue into Pika-made videos, ensuring that the character's lip movements match the spoken words. Pika lip-sync supports various inputs such as uploaded audio files and text-to-audio AI. Users can type or record dialogue, utilize pre-existing sound files, and then apply AI to modify the voice style seamlessly. Although Pika's AI-generated videos might be considered by some as slightly less polished compared to those showcased by OpenAI's Sora or even Runway, the introduction of the lip-sync feature positions it ahead of both in terms of distributive capabilities within traditional filmmaking software, as observed by VentureBeat. Notably, many of the leading AI video generators currently lack a similar native feature. While the third-party tool Synthesia offers sync functionality, it predominantly serves enterprise customers and generates talking heads rather than characters, as highlighted by Tom's Guide. However, in the comparison between Pika's lip sync generator and Emo, it's evident that Emo outshines Pika in this aspect. And here's the evidence. Oh my god! Did a full one! I'll be damned. I never knew you were Is Emo something you'd love to try out? Share your thoughts in the comment section. And if you want to be updated on when it will be available to the public, make sure you're subscribed to this channel and turn on the notification bell.